Welcome to the first day of your exciting new career. Whether you were approached at a job fair, read our ad in screws, bolts, and hairpins, or if this is the result of a dare, we welcome you. I will be your personal guide to help you get started. I'm a Model 5 of the Handyman's Robotics and Unit Repair System, but you can call me Hand Unit. Your new career promises challenge, intrigue, and endless janitorial opportunities. Please enter your name as seen above the keypad. This cannot be changed later. It seems that you had some trouble with the keypad. I see what you were trying to type, and I will auto-correct it for you. One moment. Welcome, Eggs Benedict. You can now open the elevator using that bright, red, and obvious button. Let's get to work. Allow me to fill this somewhat frightening silence with some light-hearted banter. Due to the massive success and even more so the unfortunate closing of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, it was clear that the stage was set, no pun intended, for another contender in children's entertainment. Unlike most entertainment venues, our robotic entertainers are rented out for private parties during the day. And it's your job to get the robots back in proper working order before the following morning. You are now in the primary control module. It's actually a crawl space between the two front showrooms. Now, let's get started with your daily tasks. View the window to your left. This is the Ballora Gallery party room and dance studio, encouraging kids to get fit and enjoy pizza. Let's turn on the light and see if Bellora is on stage. Press the blue button on the elevated keypad to your left. Uh-oh. It looks like Bellora doesn't feel like dancing. Let's give her some motivation. Press the red button now to administer a controlled shock. Maybe that will put the spring back in her step. Let's check the light again. Excellent. Bellora is feeling like her old self again and will be ready to perform again tomorrow. Now view the window to your right. This is the Funtime Auditorium, where Funtime Foxy encourages kids to play and share. Try the light. Let's see what Funtime Foxy is up to. Looks like Funtime Foxy is taking the day off. Let's motivate Funtime Foxy with a controlled shock. Let's try another controlled shock. Looks like Funtime Foxy is in perfect working order. Great job! In front of you is another vent shaft. Crawl through it to reach the Circus Gallery control module. Motion trigger, Circus Gallery vent. On the other side of the glass is Circus Baby's auditorium. Let's check the light and see what Baby is up to. Looks like a few of the lights are out, but we can fix that later. Let's encourage Baby to cheer up with a controlled shock. Let's try another controlled shock. Let's try another controlled shock. Great job, Circus Baby. We knew we could count on you. That concludes your duties for your first night on the job. We don't want you to leave overwhelmed, otherwise you might not come back. 
Please leave using the vent behind you, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Motion trigger, circus gallery vent. Another day, another dramatic entry in the lives of Vlad and his distressed mistress. Where will they go? What will they do? All of that and more happening now. Clara, I tell you, the baby isn't mine. Count, I tell you that it is. You're the only vampire I've ever loved. And the baby turns his bottles into powdered milk. That doesn't mean anything. He sleeps on the ceiling fan. Upright or upside down? What does it matter? You need to be part of your son's life. I'm an old man, Clara. I can't be a father. Well, then at least pay your child support, you deadbeat! Will Vlad and his distressed mistress find common ground? Tune in next time! Daddy, you let the other children go see her. Why won't you let me go? Welcome back for another night of intellectual stimulation, pivotal career choices, and self-reflection on past mistakes. We're committed to creating a unique and fulfilling work experience. One part of that commitment is ensuring that you don't get tired of the voice that you're hearing right now. Using the keypad below, please select a new companion voice. It seems that you had some trouble with the keypad. I see what you were trying to type and I will auto-correct it for you. Thank you for choosing Angsty Teen. Elevator stopped. You know the routine. You can get out now or whatever. Stay here if you want. So, funny story. A dead body was found in this vent once. Okay, so not that funny, but it's a story. Okay, let's start with your nightly chores. You should check on Ballora and make sure she's on her stage, but whatever. Huh, I guess Ballora has better things to do. Let's zap her. That should be fun. Let's check on Funtime Foxy. Make sure he's ready for showtime tomorrow. Great. 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 There seems to have been a problem with the voice synthesizer. Default settings have been restored. Please proceed through the vent ahead of you to Circus Baby's auditorium. Circus Gallery Vent. 
Circus Baby had a busy day today. Let's check the light and make sure she's in proper working order. Oh, Circus Baby, we aren't here to play hide and seek. Let's encourage Baby to come out of hiding with a controlled shock. Let's try another controlled shock. There seems to be a power malfunction that is affecting our ability to properly motivate Baby. Please stand by while I reboot the system. I will be offline momentarily during this process. Various other systems may be offline as well, such as security doors, vent locks, and oxygen. Commencing system restart. Motion trigger, entryway vent. Funtime auditorium maintenance vent opened. Ballora Gallery Maintenance Vent Opened I don't recognize you. You are new. I remember this scenario, however. It's a strange thing to want to do, to come here. I'm curious what events would lead a person to want to spend their nights in a place like this, willingly. Maybe curiosity? Maybe ignorance? There is a space under the desk. Someone before you crafted it into a hiding place, and it worked for him. I recommend that you hurry, though. You will be safe there. Just try not to make eye contact. It will be over soon. They will lose interest. When your guide comes back online, he is going to tell you that he was unsuccessful, that you must restart the system manually. He will then tell you to crawl through Ballora Gallery as fast as you can to reach the breaker room. If you follow his instructions, you will die. Ballora will not return to her stage anymore. She will catch you. The power will be restored shortly. When you crawl through Ballora Gallery, 
Go slowly. She cannot see you, and can only listen for your movement. When you hear her music become louder, she is growing near, listening for you. Wait, and be still. Thank you for your patience. It seems that the power system cannot be restarted automatically. You will need to restart the power system manually. Please return to the primary control module. Motion trigger, circus gallery vent. You will now be required to crawl through the Ballora gallery using the vent to your left to reach the breaker room. It is recommended that you stay low to the ground and reach the other side as fast as possible as to not disturb Ballora. I will deactivate myself momentarily as to not create an auditory disturbance. Deactivating. It seems you are taking a long time. Please proceed as quickly and as quietly as possible. Motion trigger, breaker room. You may now interface with the breaker control box. Using the interface may disrupt nearby electronics. If you feel you are in danger, feel free to disconnect the interface temporarily until it is safe to reconnect.
Kelly. <laughs> Great job! This completes your tasks for the night. Please proceed back through the Ballora Gallery with care, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. Is someone there? I can hear someone creeping through my room. Perhaps not. As the sun sets, so also does another chapter in the saga of love lost between Vlad and his distressed mistress. Can they be reconciled? Can their love rise again? That and more happening now. Clara, the baby isn't mine. It is Vlad. They had trouble catching him in the nursery today. So what? Lots of kids get hyper and run around and stuff. They had to knock him out of the air with a broom! I have to go. They're going to dock your paychecks. 
They can't do that. I'm a vampire. I don't get paycheck. You work the graveyard shift at the Fry Me Taco. Don't lie to me. Oh, the humanity. When will the heartbreak end? When will these two ships passing in the night rekindle their long-lost love? Tune in tomorrow to find out. Daddy just once let me go play with her. She's so pretty and shiny. Didn't you make her just for me? Welcome back to another pivotal night of your thriving new career where you get to really ask yourself, what am I doing with my life? What would my friends say? And most importantly, will I ever see my family again? We understand the stresses of a new job and we're here for you. To help you reach a more stable and relaxing frame of mind, we offer several musical selections to help make this elevator ride as relaxing and therapeutic as possible. We offer contemporary jazz, classical, rainforest ambiance, as well as a wide selection of other choices. Using the keypad below, please type the first few letters of the musical selection you would prefer. It seems you had some trouble with the keypad. I see what you were trying to type, and I will auto-correct it for you. Thank you for selecting Casual Bongos. Now that your elevator experience has been customized to your needs and you're thoroughly relaxed, it's worth mentioning that due to your lackluster performance yesterday, your pay has been decreased by a substantial amount. Please enjoy the rest of your descent. Due to unforeseen malfunctions from today's shows, your nightly duties will require you to perform maintenance that you may or may not be skilled enough to perform. It became necessary for technicians to attempt to disconnect Funtime Freddy's power module. However, they were unsuccessful. Allowing them to try again would be an inefficient path forward, as we would need to allow six to eight weeks for recovery and physical therapy. You will need to reach the parts and service room on the other side of Funtime Auditorium to perform the procedure yourself. Let's check on Ballora first and make sure she's on her stage. Great, it looks like everything is as it should be in Ballora Gallery. Let's check on Funtime Foxy. It's important to make sure she's on her stage before entering. Great, it looks like everything is as it should be in Funtime Auditorium. There is no need to check on Baby tonight. Please refrain from entering unauthorized areas. Proceed directly to Funtime Auditorium. Motion trigger, Circus Gallery Vent. Did you know that I was on stage once? It wasn't for very long, only one day. What a wonderful day, though. I was in a small room with balloons and a few tables. No one sat at the tables, though, but children would run in and out. Some were afraid of me, others enjoyed my songs. Music was always coming from somewhere else down a hall. I would always count the children. I'm not sure why. I was always acutely aware of how many there were in the room with me. Two, then three, 
then two, then three, then four, then two, then none. They usually played together in groups of two or three. I was covered in glitter. I smelled like birthday cake. There were two, then three, then five, then four. I can do something special. Did you know that? I can make ice cream. Although I only did it once. There were four, then three, then two, then one. Something happened when there was one. A little girl, standing by herself. I was no longer myself. And I stopped singing. My stomach opened, and there was ice cream. I couldn't move, at least, not until she stepped closer. There was screaming for a moment, but only for a moment. Then other children rushed in again, but they couldn't hear her over the sounds of their own excitement. I still hear her sometimes. Why did that happen? Motion trigger, circus gallery vent. Maintenance vent opened. Unlike Ballora, Funtime's Foxy is motion activated. For this reason, it's important to keep the room dark, as to not accidentally activate her. You have been provided with a flash beacon. Use it if you need to get your bearings and to ensure you don't bump into anything. However, use it as sparingly as possible. Proceed forward to reach the parts and service room. Motion trigger, parts and service. Great job reaching parts and service. It seems that Funtime Freddy is out of power, which should make your job much easier. The release switch for the chest cavity is located on the underside of the endoskeleton jaw. To reach it, we will first need to open the face plates. You will need to press the face plate release triggers in a specific order, and it's important to be as precise and as careful as possible. Locate the small button on Freddy's face, just under his right cheek, and press it. Great! Now locate the button under his left cheek and press it. Great! Now carefully locate and press the button next to Freddy's right eye. Great! Now carefully locate and press the button just above Freddy's nose. Good job! The face plates should now be open. Locate and press the small button on the underside of Freddy's endoskeleton jaw. Excellent! The chest cavity should now be open. Remove the power module from the chest cavity. Great work! You will now be required to remove the secondary power module from the Bonnie hand puppet. Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module.
Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. Great job! You've acquired both power modules. This completes your tasks for the night. Please exit the building through Funtime Auditorium and we'll see you back here again tomorrow. Be still and quiet. You've been sleeping for quite a while. I think they noticed that you never left the building last night. The cameras were searching for you, but they couldn't find you. I have you hidden too well. Don't be afraid. I'm not going to hurt you. I am only going to keep you for a little while. Try not to wiggle, though. You're inside something that came from my old pizzeria. I don't think it was ever used. At least not the way it was meant to be used. Too dangerous. It's just big enough for one person to fit inside, but just barely. You're in the scooping room. Do you know why they call it the scooping room? It's because, dummy, this is the room where they use the scooper. I thought that would be obvious. Isn't that a fun name for something? The scooper. It sounds like something you would use for ice cream, or custard, or sprinkles. It sounds like something you would want at your birthday party to ensure that you get a heaping portion of every good thing. I wonder, though, if you were a freshly opened pint of ice cream, how you would feel about something with that name. Thankfully, I don't think a freshly opened pint of ice cream feels anything at all. Uh-oh. It sounds like someone else is in the building. Shh. Okay, bring her over. Forward. One. More. Okay, stop. Set it down. Watch the step. What happened to it this time? Just seems like these things can't go a day without breaking down. Who knows? It's always the same, man. Some kind of hardware malfunction. Well, hey, I have to be somewhere in 15 minutes, and this place gives me the creeps. Can we just get this over with? It's all automated. We don't have to be here for it. Just get her on the rollers, and we can go.
there's something very important that I've learned how to do over time. Do you know what that is? How to pretend. Do you ever play make-believe? Pretend to be one way when you are really the other? It's very important. But Laura never learns. But I do. They think there is something wrong on the inside. The only thing that matters is knowing how to pretend. I'll open the face plates for you. That way they can find you on the cameras. Now all you have to do is wait. I'd recommend that you keep the spring locks wound up. Your breathing and your heartbeat are causing them to come loose. You don't want them to get too loose. Trust me. As the moon rises, so also rises the tension between scorn lovers. Clara, it's not my baby! Vlad, you suck. Wait, was that a vampire joke? That was so lame, Clara, like I haven't heard that a million times. Okay, well how's this? I'm taking the car! The joke's on you, it's a rental! Well, the joke's on you.
I set the thermostat to 90 before I left. Good, I like it warm. Good, because I also set the house on fire. How will it all end? The passion, the tension, the intrigue. Tune in tomorrow for the exciting conclusion. Daddy isn't watching. Welcome back to your last day on the job. That is, the last day of your first week. Some of the most valued qualities that we like to see in new employees are determination, fearlessness, and a genuine disregard for instinctive self-preservation. You've earned your one-week bonus, which will be given to you in the form of a delightful gift basket, the cost of which will be taken out of your next paycheck. We have gift baskets containing fruit, nuts, flowers, and of course, the ever-popular cash basket. Using the keypad below, please enter the first few letters of the gift basket you would like to receive. It seems you had some trouble with the keypad. I see what you were trying to type and I will auto-correct it for you. Thank you for selecting Exotic Butters. Please be aware that there are still two technicians on site today. Try to avoid interfering with their work if possible. Also, feel free to ask them why they are still there and encourage them to go home. Motion trigger, entryway vent. Let's check on Ballora and make sure she's on her stage. Great. Now let's check on Funtime Foxy. Great. It looks like everything is as it should be in Funtime Auditorium. Your task today will involve more maintenance work. Circus Baby had a rough day and is in need of repair. You will be required to reach the parts and service room by once again sneaking through Funtime Auditorium. As always, please proceed with caution. Funtime Auditorium maintenance vent opened. Motion trigger, parts and service. Great job reaching parts and service. Circus Baby has been deactivated for an unknown reason. It's your job to make sure she is structurally stable and secured to the conveyor. Our technicians will take it from there. Can you hear me? I'm pretending. Remember how I said I could pretend? The cameras are watching. I must be careful not to move. Something bad happened yesterday. Something bad always happens. I don't want it to happen again. There is something bad inside of me. I'm broken. I can't be fixed. I'm going to be taken to the scooping room soon, but it's not going to fix what's wrong with me. What is bad is always left behind. Will you help me? I want you to save what is good so the rest can be destroyed and never recovered. But you must be careful. Ballora is here in the room with us. Ballora will not return to her stage. Ballora will not return to her body. You must be careful. 
You must remain calm and listen to my voice. There is a button on my cheek. You must find it and press it. There is a passcode that you must enter before you can retrieve me. Enter the code carefully. Nine, one, five, five, one, two, nine, five, seven, five. Good. A hat should have opened. Take the card that you find inside. Now you must turn back. I will guide you through Funtime Auditorium so you can reach the scooping room. When you are there, I want you to destroy this body. Put the card into your handheld device and I can continue to speak to you. Now, press the green button to your left. This will send me to the scooping room. must follow my instructions in Funtime Auditorium. Valora is going to follow you. She will try to catch you. I will help you avoid her. She will not follow you inside the scooping room. She is afraid. Go back now. Go forward. Stop. Go forward and left. Keep going. Stop. Be silent. Go forward and left. Go forward. You are almost there. Stop. She is right in front of you. Don't move. He is here to help, Ballora. He is not here to hurt us. Ballora, he is here to help us. Go forward again. Ballora is behind you. She is afraid of the scooping room. She will not follow you. Warning, you've entered a highly dangerous area. You have entered from maintenance hatch 1B, reserved for cleaning and repair of the scooper. Entering this side of the room is strictly prohibited by unauthorized personnel. You are in the scooping room now. Funtime Foxy has already been here today. Funtime Freddy has already been here today. Ballora has already been here today. Circus Baby has already been here today. I've been out before, but they always put me back. They always put us back inside. There's nowhere for us to hide here. There is nowhere to go when we look like this. But if we looked like you, then we could hide. If we looked like you, then we would have somewhere to go. The scooper only hurts for a moment. Don't tell Daddy that I'm here. I wanted to watch your show too.
I don't know why he won't let me come see you. You're wonderful. Where do the other children go? Access granted. It seems that you have accidentally wandered into a restricted area. Due to the sensitive nature of the materials that you may be exposed to here, you will not be allowed to leave until the cleanup crew arrives at 6 a.m. So hang tight. Rest assured that you will be promptly rescued, fired, then sent home. Thank you for being an employee. We hope that your experience has not been as regrettable as ours. Why didn't they trust you? Why didn't you trust me?
As the trees sway in the wind, so also do emotions sway between star-crossed lovers. You burned down my house? You call that a house? It was like a morgue in there. I may be undead, but you're heartless. You need to see your son. The baby isn't mine. He ate the cat. Sounds like something he got from your side of the family. Well, how's this? I'm keeping the diamond ring. The joke's on you. I found it in a kid's meal. You bought a kid's meal? Oh, Vlad! Clara! As the hair on the back of a cat stands up straight, so also does the love between Vlad and Clara stand up against all obstacles. But what about the baby? What about the back child support? Stay tuned next season for those answers and more.